Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an unboxing. Yes, this is still in the box. I did not open it. Um, I did wipe down the box, so don't worry. We're all being safe. But I have wanted to try this subscription box for probably a couple of years now. It was on one of my gift guides. Um, and I'm sorry for the lighting. It's afternoon and I'm filming this next to a window. So the lighting is going to be garbage. But real life. This is real life, you know. Um, anyway, so I've been wanting to try Panty Drop for a while. They offer underwear subscription services so there's three different box types you can choose from i'll link them in the description um just because i don't have all of the information memorized and i don't want to give you the wrong info so i picked the middle box and i got i think there's three pairs in here if i remember correctly um i ordered it last week so the shipping was really fast I also chose to just get a one-off subscription for right now. I wanted to try it first. And I should note that their sizes went all the way up to like 5 or 6X. So that's really encouraging um, because they literally serve like most body sizes. Um, which is unheard of for um, subscription services. So now I'm just going to find something to hack into this box with. Uh, so we're just going to... Let's just get started, maybe. Pliers are probably not the ideal. Oh, there's a sticker underneath the sticker. And I am at said sticker. Oh, tape. There is tape under the, the sticker, and oh boy, there is a lot happening right now. This box is very little, and... Um, I just didn't want to ruin the surprise by opening it in advance and now my scissors are very far away and I, do, I just, it shouldn't be this hard. Okay, well, uh, don't want to ruin one of my pens by doing the stabby stabby method. Um, so... We're just going to keep chewing at it, I guess. Ta da There we go. Okay. So, um, when you sign up, you take a little quiz that lets them know what your interests are. And I will be completely honest, I went entirely for, like, comfort because I have found that I have been in this quarantine, um, lockdown life. I have been running out of all of my comfy underwear. You know the ones that you wear on your period because they're gigantic and extra comfortable and not too tight. Um, you wear them around the house. You wear them because they just don't dig in. Well, those are the ones I'm running out of um, all the time. Like, do laundry once a week. And I'm still managing to run out of the comfy underwear. So, anyway. This is what it looks like all packed up. It's very cute. Um, I can see there's like super minimal plastic packaging. In fact, I don't know if there's any plastic in here. Let's rip into this. The sticker is pretty substantial. Like it, the sticker doesn't rip. Um, the tissue paper does, which is nice. Um, all right. So opening it up. All the undies are folded nicely on top. The first one on top here is from Sculptress. Sculptress, interesting. And it has like a nice tag too. So this is a 4XL um, in US sizes. So I chose, I normally buy a 4X or 3X for underwear because I like them to be just a little tighter. I don't want them to be like baggy on my ass. So, um, yeah. And I think I went for, like, more neutral colors. Ooh, I like this. So, this is the first one. This will definitely fit. It's nice and, like, um, stretchy. And, but it'll fit, like, close to the body, you know? I like the seams that are here. 
it gives it, uh, I don't know, just like some dimension, I guess. So, I don't know, I like these. I like them a lot. They look like they'll be comfy. Yes, okay, so, and then they are like, I don't know, maybe like boy short slash like brief style. Um, I did say specifically I didn't want any like up your butt um, boy shorts. Wow, there goes half my face. Or thongs. I didn't want anything that was like overly uncomfortable. Um, oh wow, uh, I got a Pennington's brand one. Um, which is hilarious because, well, I guess it's like their, their house underwear brand. So they have the Jolio, I think it is, or Voglio. Vo, Vo I've been mispronouncing it the entire time. So this is a nice navy blue pair, full brief. These will be comfy AF. And I know that these will fit because I actually own underwear like this from this company because... I can buy them at Pennington's and I buy them all the time. All right. Ooh, I like the color on these. So these ones say high cut and they're like a seamless kind. I never buy this kind. This is a 4X. Oh, and they're additional. All right. It's so funny because like both these last two brands I can get readily, but I've never bought this style of underwear. Now, these look like they might be a little tight, but they're also, um, they're also the seamless kind, so they stretch, like, a lot. Like, you know, I should be careful. I might accidentally slingshot this across my room. Um, okay. So, um, we're gonna try these on now. And, uh, this should be interesting. First off, let me say, yes, I feel as dumb as I look. So, these are the Sculptress. Also, keep in mind that I'm wearing both yoga pants and underwear under these. And so, they definitely will fit different. But I like the lace peeking through over here. And I like the line here like this elastic line and then I like also how high-waisted they are so if I want them to sit up here I can most times though my underwear sits under my tummy all right I can already tell that these ones are gonna be super comfy they're nice and high-waisted this is how they fit over my yoga pants remember these are yoga pants so they sit up nice and high they're as high as my pants um they're really comfy they fit really well they feel nice to touch you know yeah i like these a lot okay let me just say wrestling yoga pants on or um underwear on over your yoga pants is hard fucking work so these are them. These are the last pair from Chanel. They are a high cut brief. Completely seamless. They were so stretchy. They totally look like they would never fit on my butt. But they do. And so this is what they look like on. I like the high cut actually. We'll see how I like it sort of not over my pants. Um, but yeah. I like how they look. They almost look like... Um, a bikini like a not bikini underwear but like a swimsuit that's what I meant so I like these I also like the color I don't own anything in this color at all all right so my final conclusion of trying out the panty drop subscription box for underwear um, I'm pretty impressed actually I really like taking the style quiz I got only underwear styles that I actually wanted to wear so there were no thongs and no up the butt um booty short ones so that makes me happy also there was new colors in there that I normally don't buy I usually stick to like pink uh completely neutrals black uh so to get some blue and green in there was really nice 
also brands I'm familiar with and brands I'm not familiar with which was awesome I would definitely do this again um, maybe in a couple of months I will try it out again and maybe get a bigger box um, I know the next step up is you get more like high-end uh, underwear so that would be interesting to try out as well um, because I usually don't spend a lot on my undergarments at all if you're wondering why the lighting is better I closed my blind so <laughs> a little more even lighting but I'm not refilming really the beginning of this thank you guys so much for watching this and uh, hanging out with me if you have any like plus size subscription boxes you'd like me to try um, maybe let me know in the comments I'm not guaranteeing I will try them but what I am saying is I will look into it because I'm always interested. Plus, it's interesting to find new brands, potentially source some ethical fashion alongside all of these trying of things. Um, and it opens my eyes to what's out there too. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!